on the lower zones of Mount Kenya, on its leeward side, beautiful landscapes dot the area. Acres and acres of adorable yellow spanning across this hilly terrain. It is the canola season, an area which would typically be covered with wheat or barley. The usual dryland cereals in this area is slowly being taken over by this beauty. This continuous monocropping has over the decades led to eroded and nutrient depleted soils as well as mountain pest and disease pressure. Conversion to crop rotation and other principles of conservation agriculture was necessary to ensure long-term farming sustainability. The practice of conservation agriculture we use the principles of rotation, crop rotation, which is key, and also uh, the principle of uh, minimum soil disturbance, and uh, also you know making sure that uh, you use the right variety eh, uh, for, for that matter. And from that, adventure was born. Agventure has been committed since 2010 to increasing the economic viability and reducing the environmental footprint of cereal-based agriculture in the Kenyan Rift Valley. What Agventure does is um, our day-to-day -day remit is to add value to what farmers do. We identified a couple of key things um, that needed to happen. So it's all good and well saying you need to go into conservation agriculture and that can mean a lot of different things to different people. In conservation agriculture, we train the farmer on how to catch what is to be consumable in farming. To guarantee soil productivity and ensure economic viability for the farmers, Agventure, through partnerships with like-minded organizations such as the Syngenta Foundation for Sustainable Agriculture, through their seeds to be stream in Kenya, introduced and created demand for alternative rotational crops such as the beautiful canola and pulses for crop diversification. But what is the best way to introduce new technologies to farmers? The solution? Work with lead farmers to trial the technology and let other farmers learn from them. This was the genius way by which Agventure introduced conservation agriculture to farmers in these regions. One of the elements that uh, we've introduced in our new strategy is um, climate smart and resilient agriculture. Um, so for that element, we um, looked at the approach that they have, which is uh, a center of excellence. A center of excellence is really uh, an area where you bring farmers, both small, medium or large scale, to come and see best practices in uh, whatever crops they want to invest in or they want to engage in. In this case, obviously, um, Adventure is very well known for their canola um, value chain. Uh, they've been very successful in, in using that as a, uh, as a rotational crop. Through the partnership with the Foundation, trialing sites were established to expose and train the farmers on the principles of conservation agriculture and the agronomic practices necessary for local adoption of a number of crops as rotational crops. With Syngenta Foundation, working closely with uh, Adventure Limited, they are funding issues of research and the seed trialing in different ecological zones that farmers in different areas across the, countries, uh, the country will have alternative crops that they can grow and crops that are suitable in their areas. Most of our trials are based with uh, farmers' demand outside, and uh, there are so many crops we are doing here. One of the crops we are doing here is uh, wheat. We also have barley, we have canola, our main crop. Part of the work we are doing here, we can be able to feel maybe the impact outside. Like some of our farmers, they are high yielding, they are yielding the best out of their farms because of the research we are doing here. The beauty about it all is the benefit farmers accrue from the production of these rotational crops. In an elaborate way to offer farmers ready markets for these crops, Adventure has developed processing and marketing capacity for pulses and canola through its Pure Mountain unit and retail brand. Quality and safety of food is very much important 
and it's a critical aspect of Adventure Limited. So we always want to ensure that whatever we are taking in, whatever we are using in our production process and whatever we are releasing is of the highest quality because then quality is one of our flagship areas that we have as Adventure Limited. From the Meru farm across the country to lands in Mount Narok, Keringet, Njoro and the larger part of Rift Valley, the story is the same. Crop diversification and by extension, conservation agriculture introduced by Adventure and Syngenta Foundation was the unexpected savior. Nilikuwa ninapanda mmea wa aina moja, chakula yangu ni moja mahindi, mahindi, mahindi kwenye shamba langu. Mpaka ikafika mahali nikaona imeniletea hasara. Maana ile shamba imezoea tu mahindi, mahindi na kama ni fertilizer unatumia aina moja tu ya fertilizer kulingana na mahindi. Mwaka wa 2020 nilipanda kanola, nilipata karibu milioni moja. Na hiyo ni pesa nzuri sana kwa mwanamke kupata kwa ekari kumi ya shamba. Mashamba yetu yalikuwa na kaburi mwanzo. Kwa sababu tukikosa mmea ambao ni wa hali ya jua viazi, shamba letu inabidi likae buri. Tunakosa tena secondly, tunakosa kitu cha kurotit. Oh, imenisaidia sana kwa sababu e, zile pesa zimeni zimeniinua. So zimeninulia motorbike Sai sasa kuna e kaploti naanza kulipa pole pole. In this field I expect to get at 3 tons at least 3 tons per hectare. The price that we are given I think is 50 shillings plus 5 shillings bonus. That gives us more income that we get from uh, cereals from wheat and barley. By learning about the canora and knowing how to conserve soil of fertility and the soil of mocha it has been very useful to me and it also has also increased my wealth. On our side, we do have this digital approach um, to how we collect information on varieties. So we want to introduce that to them um, to help them in terms of quickly assessing, uh, identifying best varieties and collecting that data because data-driven decision-making is the best. The reception that I had in 2017 is totally different from what I'm getting right now. Then I was explaining to the farmer what canola is. I had to show them pictures, what the crop is. But right now, I just have to start talking and tell them, you know the crop with the yellow flowers, and everybody knows it. So as you drive down the beautiful slopes of Timau, smile and admire that yellow, and do so with satisfaction in your heart. Farmers are now settled and are reaping big from their small and big lands, and the best part of it this will go on for generations since the soils are now conserved. Because yes, conservation agriculture is a long-term approach and not a quick fix. And this is the Syngenti Foundation and Adventure Way.